Good afternoon from the Monsanto Water Utilization Learning Center. My name is Brian Olson, manager of the site, and here's an aerial view of the Learning Center. And so I wanted to show you or provide you a virtual tour of what we have available at the Learning Center. So here we've got the UAV lifting off the ground. And as we go out uh, on our tour road, uh, you will notice that we have uh, basically a demo area where we can dis discuss uh, the value of climate field view. And then as we move forward down the tour road, you will see a discussion on high input corn on the right and uh, potential in, uh, inputs to uh, uh, increase yield on late planted soybeans on the left. As you travel on down the road, uh, we get into a discussion about uh, uh, potential white corn products, uh, our corn product characterization, so looking at different uh, irrigation and nitrogen uh, uh, inputs and how corn products respond to that. Uh, then on the left, we have a lot of di uh, different small plot uh, replicated research looking at uh, potential impact of potassium on soybean production at the R3 stage. Uh, then you'll notice on the left, we also have, uh, we're looking at uh, row width and, uh, you know, is there a difference between seven and a half and 30 inch uh, rows with respect to um, increasing soybean production. Then as we roll in here on the right, we've got uh, uh, basically our DeKalb, Fontenelle, and Channel um, classrooms where we have the different uh, corn and soybean products. And then also on the right, we have our insect and seed applied solution classroom. And then um, the pollinator habitat is coming up. And so this pollinator habitat, again, we're, we're trying to uh, help promote uh, those pollinators that are out there uh, busily, busily working, pollinating our crops. Uh, we also have a corn product characterization study there. Uh, then we turn the corner as we as we uh, continue on the tour. Uh, we have a, a study from the University of Nebraska we're collaborating with on corn height, or excuse me, stubble height and cover crop. And then on the left, you'll be noticing these little small plot areas. And so that's actually um, helping our retail partners diagnose various farm problems out in the field. Uh, as we continue onward, we had uh, our uh, disease classroom uh, where we help uh, uh, folks understand uh, what the different diseases uh, look like and potential management options. We also have a dry land classroom uh, for, again, DeKalb, Channel, and Fontenelle. As we continue on here, we've got our grain sorghum uh, dry land uh, cat trial. And then we have a, a large uh, section of wheat. Uh, so again, uh, Monsanto owns Westbred. And so we've uh, collaborated with them over the last couple of years in developing research to help our wheat farmers uh, out on the uh, Great Plains. As we approach the rain out shelter, you're gonna see our, our uh, drought mayhem study for soybeans. And then the rain out shelter again is our movable building that uh, we're able to exclude water from those uh, plots and really evaluate uh, what the impact of water is on those corn products. Uh, as we continue on down the road here, we've got uh, our um, soybean uh, extend area where we are looking at uh, various options in the extend platform or extend system in order to improve weed control. And as we continue on down the road, uh, we will see an irrigated uh, green sorghum uh, performance trial and then more research on the right in the wheat stubble, looking at uh, various wheat products and, and uh, seeding rates. And, and uh, then we come up on an area where we're actually growing sweet corn in order to donate that to, to the food banks across Nebraska. And so that, again, that's a, a good outreach that uh, the Learning Center is uh, taking the lead on. Uh, then we actually have a little demo area right here where we're looking at uh, high, M or, uh, high pH high pH and salt, high pH and sodium, talking about management factors on that. Now we've entered our subsurface drip zones, and so again, we've got uh, various research out here looking at the impact of water, uh, different irrigation environments. Uh, we also set up this year uh, a fertigation study looking at uh, boron or phosphorus through the subsurface drip system. We've got a study with the University of Nebraska looking at the impact of nitrogen and irrigation water. And then we round out the tour with the discussion of the history of corn and the area grow a bushel of soybeans, the area grow a bushel of corn. 
So there is a lot to see. This is a very quick overview of what the Learning Center has to offer, but please come on out, take some time, and we would enjoy talking to you about uh, what we have out here at the Learning Center because, again, the Learning Center is here for you, our customers, and we want to help you uh, be successful in the future. Thank you for your time. This video was produced by the Monsanto Water Utilization Learning Center.